Okay, let's proceed with another example that looks awfully similar to the last two examples and see what is really different over here. It is very similar to the first example. I have an air and I have half a kilogram of it and a particular pressure and particular temperature. It says that it goes through a polytropic, okay, this is new, polytropic process with n is equal to 1.2 and a frictionless seal distance in the device. If the final pressure is twice the initial pressure, very similar to the first question I uh, worked on, calculate the work done in this particular compression process, okay? So then the, the, the key point is the underlined uh, red, right? So when I go back to my notes and I see that this is what it is, P2, V2, minus P1, V1, divided by 1 minus N. So let's take a look what I know, what I don't know, okay? Let's take it state 1. It's state 1, here's what it's going to be. P is given to me, 200 kilopascal. T is given to me as 27 uh, Celsius, okay? And the M is given to me, right? M is 0 0.5 kilogram. Okay, so the pressure is, is good. Volume, you can see I can use ideal gas law to find my volume one. Okay, so then I should be able to manage uh, this one nicely, okay? What about P2? Did, you, did I give you the P2? Yeah, I did, actually did. So if I go up to here, I will call the state two, and I gave you the pressure as 400 kilopascals, right? I said it's double. Okay, so I know P2. What about V2? Well, I don't know that, but I have to find it, okay? So that is my thought process over here. So basically, um, you know, uh, the lot volumes are the ones that is a little bit of a deal breaker in this particular question, okay? Okay, let the, let's get the business and find the volume values. So the first one is kind of, uh, you know, very similar to what I did before. M, R, T, P is 200,000. Volume is what I'm after, right? Is equal to M is 0 0.5 kilograms. The R is equal to 287 um, joule per kilogram Kelvin. I know this from table A1, Chengel, 9th edition, right? Text, your textbook times. The, the temperature and the temperature this time around is in terms of Kelvin because it has to cancel the Kelvin, 300 Kelvin, right? And when I punch into my calculator, I get my V1, this is V1, is 0 0.215 meter cube. So far, so good. So I'm one more step closer to the final answer. I know my V1 now. I know. So the only thing I'm looking at this equation, and it's 1.2 given in the question, is the V2 is not known, right? So let's, let's kind of address that, right? Um, so now I have to go to more fundamental uh, in terms of how we define a polytropic process. If you remember, this is how it was. P times basically, let's go back one more step. P V to the power of N is a constant, that's what we did, okay? So this means that I can do this. 1.2 can be written as P2, V2, 1.2. Uh-huh, this is the way I'm going to find it, okay? Because I know P1, I know V1, I know P2. The only unknown in this particular equation is this V2. Okay, so then I don't know I mean, how we want to do it. There's multiple ways, but you know, I'll do usually this way P1 divided by P2 will be V2 divided by V1 to the power of 1.2, right? Uh, you come in parentheses, and from here you can see V2 will be P1 by P2 to the power of 1 by 1.2, right? Simple math times the volume 1. So I know my P1, I know my P2. Actually, this ratio is 0 0.5, right? Because it says the pressure is doubled. P2 is 2, P1. So you get 0 0.5 over here. And this V1 is right over here. So you, when you plug this into your calculator, you got your V2 as 0 0.12 meter cube. Actually, the rest is smooth sailing from here, right? So I simply know everything that I need to. So let's just write it. W will be equal to... Let's write one more time just for this sake. P2, P1, V1 by 1 minus n, this is 400,000 times V2 is 0 0.12, right? Minus 200,000 times V1 is 0 0.215 divided by, right, 1 minus 1 1.2, okay? And if I, you know, again, punch this into the calculator, I get myself minus 25,000, literally, joules or minus 25 kilojoules. So this is the how much of uh, energy I have to put into this particular process to create this polytropic compression, okay? So 
you know, I solved three questions, so make sure you understand all these three. These are the three cases that you, you maybe encountered, okay? That's pretty much what I have to say. Have a good day.